Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are at Dukes of Duval's brand new house here, as you can see. And we got something special for you guys. We have a T-Mobile 5G gateway internet set up here. We're gonna get this thing unboxed and see what it's all about. And then we're gonna test it out. We're gonna do a speed test and walk around and see how the Wi-Fi coverage is. And that's all today on the channel, so stay with us. All right, we're back today with this T-Mobile Internet 5G Gateway. We have not opened it up yet. We just took the tape off so it's nice and fresh. This is the first one I've ever seen in person. It is not available at my house, but it's available here in this nice new house that Joe is about to move into. So we're gonna open this up right now and check out what's in the box. And you can see on the front, it has a nice screen on it with a couple buttons, not sure what that does yet. And then on the side, it has all the uh, IM IMEI information, just like a cell phone. And basically this is wireless, completely wireless and 5G. And technically it has the capability to go almost as fast as a cable modem. Now inside the box, it has a 5G gateway quick, quick start guide, which we will check out here momentarily. It's almost a few steps here. It says you position it and you power it on and then you download the T-Mobile internet app. And that is how you set up the gateway. Moving further into the box here, we just have a notice right there. We don't really care about that. And then looking into the gateway itself, it is packaged in a plastic bag. And if we look on the back, it has spots for four antennas here, which is interesting. It also has a USB type C connector here and a USB type C for power. And then a couple of ethernet jacks here and a SIM card, which is also interesting. So it does need a SIM card. And then further into the box here, it does come with a nice stand. Looks like you can actually rotate it with the stand. And then here is the power adapter. And and this power adapter does just have, again, a, just a USB type C and connection there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this thing already has a SIM card in it because we don't have a SIM card here. They didn't give you one, right? No. Okay, cool. So we're gonna assume it has a SIM card. And then of course, peel satisfaction right there. So nice. So nice. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get that app downloaded on Joe's phone and go ahead and power this up. And we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so we took a look inside the box. There is no external antennas. That must be optional if you have issues with coverage. We're assuming there's a SIM card in it. And right now we are actually downloading the T-Mobile internet app, which is supposed to assist us with placing the modem in the right spot. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing powered up. So we're gonna go ahead and power it up in the kitchen here. And it just does have a USB-C power adapter. And don't confuse that with the USB-C jack that's right next to the power adapter. There is another USB-C port there. And we have plugged in the device and it is powering up. And there's a T-Mobile logo booting up on the front of the device right now. All right, so we just pressed get started on the app here. So we are going to see what the setup procedure is for this. It's probably not much. Um, he might have to log into his account here momentarily would be my thought. And then after that, we're gonna see how this thing does. And we do have a 5G gateway at the one at the bottom, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that. Yeah, so one thing I wanna point out real fast is that mm -hmm. this is a T-Mobile phone, and currently I'm showing two bars at 5G. So that'll be interesting to see what your coverage is like here, and yep. that might be where those external antennas come into play if you can't get coverage. Okay, so we already have three bars on the device, and we are not near a window. So we have three already, um, and we can possibly get more by moving it to a perimeter wall here where it has less of a chance of being interfered with. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see what's next on the app then. Let's uh, start loca share location there and let's see what it thinks. Getting signal direct. So it's looking for the tower now. We found your signal. ID placement being nearest the signal by a window. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move the gateway to the window here. So we're booting up the gateway again. We'll get back to you guys when we have it fully booted up here. All right, we have moved the T-Mobile 5G gateway over to the window where it was suggested to us to go. And now the device is powering up again. We're gonna see if it increases the signal strength to more than three bars. If it does not, we're probably gonna put it somewhere else in the house. So it's asking us to connect to the gateway. It's gonna scan the QR code, but the gateway is not fully powered up yet we're waiting for that now it is so it didn't improve the signal it did not all right so it is connected to power so we're gonna go next uh, now it needs uh, Wi-Fi so we're gonna hit next and it's just asking to join the network that it created so that's fine it makes its own network and it joins it to set up the gateway now it's asking us to find and connect we're gonna allow that all right so now that your gateway is ready you can update your Wi-Fi network we're gonna do this off screen 
Okay, we just successfully set up the new Wi-Fi name and password. And I did see this thing go to four bars momentarily, so it is picking up quite a good signal over here in the window. I think we're gonna be fine, it, probably anywhere in the house, but it briefly went up to four bars there. I have successfully connected to the new Wi-Fi and everything is looking good so far. The little display did go out in the front. My guess is that it times out after a certain amount of time here because I am still connected to the Wi-Fi. So the next thing we're gonna do is just kind of ro roam around the house and do tests on the Wi-Fi and look at the speed tests as well. All right, we just got done completely setting up the gateway. So now the next step is we're just gonna test it a little bit around the house, see what our Wi-Fi signal looks like at the other end of the house and out on the back porch and also do some speed tests and see how that looks from various places in the house. And there's the connection quality. It's got four bars right now, so that's pretty cool. So I'm installing speed test by Ookla right now and we'll go ahead and test the Wi-Fi here. You know, we got a strong signal right next to it. And here we go on the speed test. Two hundred and sixty megabits. Very impressive. Very good speed. Very good. That's really good. Your upload speed is always going to suffer on five G, but that's still not terrible. So um, yeah, we got two hundred and seventy nine megabits download speed on the five G, st standing right next to the unit. So I'm going to move to the porch and see if my Wi Fi signal is still strong. Two hundred and ten megabits. 170, definitely suffered, 130, 110, 190, 70, 80, 90. It's uh, definitely not as good, but it's, it's still good. Maybe we can centrally locate this thing and then, and then uh, or over here, either way. You can see right now we got four bars now on this thing and we lost a little bit of speed when we went out to the porch, but no big deal. We still had over 100 megabits. The most important thing is that this is usable from the office area, but that is gonna do it for the T-Mobile 5G gateway setup. It was really simple and you guys can see it's working really good and it's gonna be a good thing for this house and it's good for the kids and for work. And now let's talk about it more in the studio. We'll go take a look at this online and talk about how you can get it. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Supercar Street Racing once again. My name is Brad, and we're out here in the 4K Production Studio, and today we're talking about the T-Mobile 5G home internet plan. Now, T-Mobile offers this plan for $40 a month, as you can see right here on their website. And Dukes of Duval did get this installed at his house, and we did it ourselves. It didn't take very long, and it was up and running in no time, thanks to the app. Now, there is one thing here that you have to know is that this might not be available at your house. Now, we have an issue getting AT&T fiber as well here at Supercar Street Racing. So we just use Comcast here and it's been working out great for us. But right here on the screen, you can see the T-Mobile internet service and it says it's fast and reliable and it is $40 a month right now. You can also get a $200 prepaid virtual MasterCard if you go ahead and hook up the T-Mobile 5G home internet service. Now this thing says that you can lock in your rate and if they ever change your rate, they will give you your last month for free. And it also says you can try this for 15 days worry free. Now in order to get T-Mobile 5G internet service, you have to make sure they offer the service in your area. All right, so I went ahead and just put in my real address here. And of course it is not available at my house. I don't think I would get it anyway because I have two gig Comcast and of course being a content provider i need the fastest internet possible both upload and download and as you saw in the video your upload speed will suffer with this 5g service i get about five times faster upload service and i really need that because i'm uploading huge videos to youtube almost every day now scrolling back up to the top here you can see here that there is a number for you to call and check on this as well it's 866-586-1454 and hopefully 5G internet service is available in your area and it does have a good enough signal strength to provide you what you need if you decide that this is right for you. Guys, we want to thank you so much for your support here on Supercar Street Racing. Our video about the shark coating is over 200,000 views and it's all thanks to your support. And please like and subscribe. A lot of people watch the videos, but they actually aren't subscribed to the channel. And buy all your products through our links in the description. It helps out the channel greatly when you do that. 
Even if it's not the product you need, you can click any of our links and buy anything from us. And it does give us a few dollars here and there to keep the channel running because we do lose money on the channel. Now we wanna thank Dukes of Duval for hosting us in their house. And we wanna thank all of you one more time before we get out of here. We have to go climb a cell tower and point it directly at my house.